The Queen has been subject matter of many artists and sculptors over the years, with some of the works being more controversial than others. Yes, the latest being made just in time for the Queen's Jubilee next year comes thanks to a sculptor from Llandidno. Nick Elphick is hoping to make a rather big impression with not just one, but 60 giant models, as our North Wales reporter Ian Lang has been finding out. She has one of the most readily recognisable faces in the world. But just how do you create a work of art that's fit for a queen? In a small workshop in Llandidno, that's been the task tackled by a young sculptor who's been facing up to one of the biggest challenges in his working life. And this is the result revealed today. It's, it's been a very difficult journey, you know, because I, I, it's so difficult to not have someone sitting there when you're doing it. And also I've had thousands of different photographs I've looked at. And not just photographs, I wanted to look at videos and look at her history and try, and try and put myself into her position and who she is. But this master copy of Her Majesty is just the start of something much, much bigger. Eventually there will be 60 likenesses cast in light resin dotted around communities in Cheshire as part of a project for the Queen's Jubilee celebrations next year known as the Queen's Giants. So that it's finished, when is, when is it at your satisfaction, the point you say yes? <laughs> when the deadline's over. <laughs> no, I, it's a very difficult part, that. It's a very difficult part. I mean, you can overwork things, and, and it's a part of learning, I think, as well, in the, in the skills of, of this technique. No surprise that Nick has spent a lot of time researching this project. It's something he dearly wanted to get right. There have been stops and starts, but he's hoping the end result will do Her Majesty justice. The key word for him is pride. Uh, yeah, I'm really proud to have been able to do, um, you know, the Queen. It's, it's just incredible. You know, I'm waking up every day going, no, is this really happening? <laughs> you know, I mean, just getting interviewed, <laughs> it's fantastic. You know, um, I'm, uh, I'm really proud and, and um, you know, I'm uh, you know, obviously worried as well. <laughs> you know, I, want, I want the Queen to like it. That's, that's my big thing, you know. Sadly, you'll have to go over the border to see the end results and what part they'll play in the celebrations. But the success of this project very much made in Wales. In Lank, Wales tonight, Flantidnall.